in this video we are going to discuss one more gate problem related to frequency response analysis we can observe problem here in g into h of s plane the nyquist plot of the loop transfer function g of s into h of s is equivalent to pi into e power minus 0.25 s by s passes through the negative real axis at the point what they are asking so if this is the transfer function of a system then when it will passes at which point it will passes the negative real axis so here whenever we heard this uh, point that means uh, whenever it passes negative real axis we need to get one thing in your mind that is phase margin so here phase crossover frequency not phase margin phase crossover frequency is the frequency at which the transfer function nyquist plot crosses negative real axis so we are having relation of phase crossover frequency here now i'm going to calculate that phase crossover frequency so here for that i'm going to consider this g of s into h of s so this is equal into pi into e power minus 0.25 s by s phase crossover frequency so phase crossover frequency is the frequency at which at which the phase is equal to minus 180 degrees so that's why here i want to consider my phase to substitute this omega pc so here i'm going to consider in terms of j omega j omega into h of j omega is equal into pi into e power minus 0.25 into j omega divided by j omega so now here to consider phi i am taking angle so angle of gh is equal into phi is equal into here i am having minus 90 degrees Minus ninety degrees. So here I'm having minus point two five omega. Minus point two five omega. So here, if you want to say this omega as phase crossover frequency, if you want to mention this omega as phase crossover frequency, then you need to equate this pi to minus pi or minus 180 degrees now you just solve you will get omega pc here so now here i am writing omega pc so here to find out phase crossover frequency so this is equal to if i send this minus 90 to here plus 90 so minus pi plus pi by 2 so that is equal to minus pi by 2 divided by 0.25 0.25 means so here already i'm having minus 0.25 multiplication you can see so this term is equal to minus pi by 2 so if i want to send minus 0.25 this side so i want to mention like 1 by 4 0.25 i can write like 1 by 4 so this is equal to uh, finally i'm getting so here minus 2 5 so i got so already i'm having minus here so plus 2 pi omega pc is equal to 2 pi so what i done is i considered in j omega domain after that by observing this line i'm getting something in my mind about phase crossover frequency so again i remembered the definition of phase crossover frequency that is the frequency at which phase angle is equal to Minus one eighty degrees. So that's why I consider the phase from this. So in this phase, if I want to equate that phase to minus pi, then that particular frequency will become phase crossover frequency. So by this relation, I got omega p c as two pi. But this is not our final answer. What we need to find out, we need to find out the point of intersection with the real axis. 
So how we can get that point of intersection with real axis? Always you can observe point of intersection on real axis means imaginary coefficient is 0. What we need to find out? Magnitude at that particular point we need to find out to get x axis coefficient. So that means to get real coefficient. So we need to get magnitude at, the, at this point. So that means magnitude at phase crossover frequency we need to consider. So here now phase crossover frequency finally I got 2 pi. Now I am considering my magnitude with this. So pi into e power minus 0.25 into j omega divided by j omega. So here I want to consider omega pc here. So omega pc. So here this is equivalent to magnitude of this is equivalent to pi by omega pc. So pi by omega pc is equivalent to pi by 2 pi. So this is equivalent to 1 by 2. I got magnitude. I got magnitude at the point of intersection on real axis. So that is nothing but the distance on real axis. So that means the coordinate on real axis is real axis coordinate is 1 by 2 that means 0.5 is there any 0.5 then we can take. So here finally we got 0.5 comma j0 as your point. So here minus and plus are related to considering this 180 degrees. If you consider plus 5, you do not know negative real axis. If they are saying negative real axis, then you need to consider plus 5. If they are saying positive real axis, then sometimes you need to consider according to the type of system and order of system, you can consider plus 5. So here whatever it may be, so here your coordinate, magnitude of your coordinate, that is why you got plus here. You can see here this is magnitude of coordinate. They mentioned with sign. Do not confuse. This came from magnitude that is why we are not having any sign here. You just have value there. So, you are having only 10.5 either that is minus or plus. Here it will give only magnitude value not direction. So, here 0.5 comma j0 will be the point at which your Nyquist plot related to this transfer function will inter intersects the negative real axis. So, this is best option for you.